What is up everybody? It's John with Superfly, bsuperfly.com and I'm here with a tutorial on how to add Type.js to your WordPress site and in this case your Divi site. So this is what we're going to end up with right here. Just to give you an example of it. Here I'll and then this is where we're starting out. We're starting out with just the uh, the default layout here that we have, but you could use your own um, your own theme or child theme, preferably to do this. Um, all right, so let's get started. So here's my page that we just looked at, and right now I have my normal full width header um, disabled, and I have the one that you see here that's that's on. And um, we're going to use it as our starting point. And so, actually, if you're not familiar with Type.js, that's what we'll be using. And let's see here. Here's a demo of it. So, yeah, it looks cool. That's what we want. And conveniently enough, there's actually a plugin that we're going to use to add this. Um, so, this is pretty clean slate here. I don't have any plugins. Actually, using local by flywheel to run this locally on my machine, which I should probably do a tutorial at some point how to get that set up. But so just search for types.js for in the plugins, and this is the one here we're going to use. Go ahead and activate it. And after you activate it, you'll see that there is a new typed menu item over here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm just going to click Add New, and I'll just call this uh, Site Headline. And you'll see it's going to generate a short code we're going to be able to use here in a bit. But this is where you add your statements. So the first one will say Josephine Layout by Superfly. Maybe maybe get yours today. And type speed, I've messed with this a little bit. I'm going to use um, like 100 for the type speed. The start delay, I'm going to say maybe 1,000. I think that's one second. We'll be able to, actually I'm going to set it for three. That way we can really see. The back speed, I want it to go, um, if I want it to go the same as the type speed, I would be 100. But on a lot of these, the back speed is faster, like it types it out. And then So I'm going to do like 10. For that and then the time before it backs look, I'm gonna do 5,000 uh, let's do 3,000 for that for three seconds I want it to loop I want to show the cursor the blinking cursor and that is fine but you could swap this out for something else which I haven't messed with but we'll try that and I do want the cursor to blink now down here there's some some things that you could Select. I'm actually styling mine all within Divi, but there's you could mess with these down here if you wanted, or you can twirl them up and just get rid of them, uh, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, before I save this, I'm going to grab this short code and copy it. So it saved this. I'm going to go to my layout now, and I've already done some of this, but I'll just keep it in here. Oh, no, I want to keep that. This is it, this one here. Here's my current Josephine layout text. I'm just going to, and I like to do this in the text view here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in my short code there and hit update. Wait for this guy. Refresh the page. And voila. It's going to wait a few seconds and then start typing. And wait a few seconds and come and come back. All right, I like the back speed. The, the typing speed's a little slow, and I want to get rid of that delay at the beginning. I don't want it to be as long. So let's say start delay is 500. Typing speed, let's say it's 50. Back speed, let's say 5, like really fast. And then let's just do like one second. Okay, that I think that works for me. 
Now, as you notice, as I said, um, in here, I've already, this is where I went through and I set my font size and all caps. And um, in here, I changed my font family to a Google one that I've loaded and the font weight. So that is where that's getting that. But I don't, and for this particular font, you see that the cursor, and I'm going to turn off the blinking cursor here so you can see this better. Um, there we go. And I'm going to uh, back delay. I'm going to set it to like 20, 20 seconds. That way you can really see what I'm talking about here. Okay, so you see the cursor is is way is, is definitely taller than my T. That's because this J comes down. So I'm going to do some CSS to make this cursor look a little better since all mine end with this T um, happening here. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page so I can get another 20 seconds here. And I'm just going to right click on this and inspect it. Great, and you'll see here it's this in this class called Typed Cursor, and there's actually um, it's made like a type div 250, so it's a that's this guy here. It's unique to this particular um, this particular type thing that we're doing. Remember back here we made this we made a uh, in here we made our new here's here's our our new typed here. And you'll see, even if I hover over the site outline, down in the bottom left corner here of my browser, you'll see an ID equals 250, or post equals 250. If I click in here, and that's also the name of the short code, which matches the, um, the, the div, I, the unique ID it gave this div. So whatever CSS I wrap in here is going to be unique to this instance of the type. So if I use this somewhere else on my site, uh, I could use different fonts and stuff like that. And it and this cursor wouldn't be affected. The cursor there wouldn't be affected. But this one will. So I'm just going. I'm just going to copy this here. Actually, I'm just going to. I'm going to go right in here. And I'm going to start messing around with this. So I'm going to say font size. And I've done this a little bit before. I want to say 58. And then I want to move it up. And so I'm going to say position relative. And then I'm going to move it up the top by about negative 11 pixels. And it's going to type out here. And that looks pretty good. You can see if I go up and down here, I can move this around. But that looks pretty good. So then I'm going to grab all this right here and copy it. And then go into my... Well, I would go a couple spots. You could go to Divi Theme Options and put this in your... You could put this down here in your custom CSS, um, or you could put it here in the the custom CSS for this page only, um, or you can make a code module and put it right there. I'll just put it up here because I have some up here already. So I'm going to go in and just go down a couple of lines and add that code. I'll go ahead and save it, update. While that's updating, I'm going to go ahead and go back here and make this back delay um, two seconds and type speed I think I'm gonna go to 80 on that and let's just go to zero on the back speed and let's have the blinking cursor and I think this is gonna do it for this tutorial so let's go ahead and refresh this oh man <laughs> Oh, typing type speed 80. I think I want that to be much faster. Actually, that yeah, I do. I th I think I think I wanted to go even less speed. Let's try like 25. Yeah, I don't need this anymore. That looks pretty cool. A bit fast. I'm going to do 40. Uh, and then I'm going to try... So I think that's the pipe. Yeah, okay. I'm going to try... Uh, I wonder if we can do HTML code in here. That should be the double the double arrow thingy. 
I'm curious to see if it'll let me do that. I haven't tried this yet. Oh, cool. So then I could also CSS that to do something else with that. Or I bet you could, I bet you could put a, I wonder if you could put a file awesome uh, icon there. You probably could. Um, but I'm just going to leave it as the pipe for now. And update. What do I want to see? Actually, I want to try something. I want to copy this plus sign. I'm going to paste that in there. Oh, that's not going to, that's just going to be an L. Yeah, no, not what I wanted. But let me go in and inspect that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd have to go into the... Yeah, I could, I could, I wonder if I could make the, the font family just for the deal. Alright, last thing I'll try, and then I'll, because um, this is all extra stuff I didn't go on. So font font fa I'm just gonna place that font family in there. Et modules. Let's see what happens here. Nice. All right. So you could do the e you could use any et module font in there that you wanted to. And um, but then I would need to let me go ahead and grab that and move it down. So then I would need to go in here to my type cursor and instead of top negative 11, it's going to be more like, oh, let me just get this over, like top negative 3. So that's kind of cool. Um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that back though. But yes, that is how you use type JS with with Divi, uh, a quick easy way using a plugin. I mean, you could download the actual uh, Java, the uh, JavaScript jQuery and try to implement all that um, if you wanted to. Let me go down here and change this back to the pipe. But I think uh, I think this achieves the effect in a great way and uh, it's it's what we need but if I did want it to do other things um, then I would probably I would probably go and just grab the type JS actual file because you'll see here in the uh, in the actual in, in the actual uh, code coded one not the uh, plugin you can do things like like smart backspacing so let's see here view all demos you could do other things like fade it out instead of going back or smart smart backspace where it keeps the first bit and then comes back but you know what we can keep the first bit too though we could say you know we are and then this is going to make no sense but actually it's going to add a div and stuff maybe it might might not work yeah You'd have to do some some CSSing to get that. Um, you would have to go in here, yeah, and this whole div here. You would have to somehow position it. So that's probably not. So again, the best way to achieve that would be to actually, um, if you're a developer, you could figure that out. If you're not, hire a developer to figure out how to get the actual JavaScript jQuery to work instead of using the plugin. But for now. This is great, and thanks for watching this tutorial on how to use Type.js via a plugin in your Divi site. And a disclaimer is, um, if the plugin becomes unsupported, then something else will need to, we'll have to find a different plugin or something like that. 
But thanks for watching. Have a good one, y'all. Stay fly.